Hey YouTubers, Mad Winner here again. And this is my other pivot. I did get it going a couple months ago, but this is the first time I finally was able to have time to take a video of it. This thing is 45 foot long from the center point to the tower and an extra foot extension there. It is five foot tall at the tower, five foot wide wheelbase. It has a 12 volt gear motor, which is actually installed in that junction box. This is my directional switch and it is chain drive, enclosed chain drive. I've got a primary chain drive in here and then I have a shaft that runs through the center and a chain that runs to that wheel and a chain that runs to that wheel. Those are, uh, what, six, what are they? No, 14 by four by six tires. They're uh, snowblower tires. Look at that. This thing was over budget too. It was uh, whoo, close to 500 bucks to build it, unfortunately, but very simple. Just got a uh, piece of what, one inch pipe here, stuck up through a slip collar, uh, street elbow, and this is just heavy inch and a quarter uh, hose. It is 12 volt DC. I just run it off a car battery and it lasts quite a while on that car battery. Solar panel just helps. So it, I got it set up on half swing for my garden over here. And it takes about three, three and a half hours for it to make a circle. It goes about four inches a minute. And that's direct drive too. There's no stall timer in that, which I'm gonna install later. Nice little sprinklers I got, which I'll do a thing for those too. Love them. And now I'm gonna go turn it on. And I'll just take you with me, because I'm that kind of nice guy. I got a uh, piece of uh, three quarter inch sprinkler tube ran from a designated water line all the way to the front of the house, because a standard garden hose outlet cannot run this. It needs more water than that. And also a disconnect for the winter time. And they're probably squirting water. Not quite. There it goes. I also have this thing set up on a pressure switch too. The center point here. So when I give it water, it puts power to the wheels. When I shut off the water, it takes the power away from the wheels. I really do need to install a, a timer on this, a stall timer, because uh, without it, it goes a little bit fast. It only puts on 60, maybe 75 hundreds. First pass. Just slowly moves along. Neat, right? <laughs> 